Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to episode 11 of our Red Dead Redemption 2 series. Let's get to it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. <laughs> God. Ugh. <laughs> oh no. You have no pomade. Oh. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Oh boy. Mm. Did she leave a photo? I don't know if that's her or not. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will. Uh, good. R. Beatrice. Ah, uh, okay. What the heck is that on your table? Like an alien sprout? Where? That <laughs> thing right there. Oh, that? I don't know what that is. Can you pick it up? No? No. What the flip? Oh no. Alright. So you're gonna go to Valentine? I don't know. Gotta go north. Yeah, she's there. Here. Do you wanna wait till morning or? Um, or you're gonna pay her a nighttime visit? Bow chicka bow wow. Oh! Here we go now. Oh, that was from me getting the grizzly, I think. So give me that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think Arthur's hat's the best hat. Yeah. It's cool that you can like custom create your own outfit. Mm hmm Man, he's gonna be dressing hot for the season. Yeah, we're gonna keep him in style. Oh yeah. Now I look like in style. All right. Now I just need Rusty to look better here. She's little. Don't be making fun of Rusty. Alright, Rusty, let's go to our new destination. Paying a nighttime visit to a lady, hmm? We'll see what happens. Yeah. This Valentine's pretty yeah. close. Yeah. Ah, uh, not again! He's well, well, I can feel a real kind donation Get out of there! Damn it! Run! Run! Oh. Hell no. Go, Rusty! Go, 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 Rusty! Damn it, every time! Can't freaking leave me on dang camp. <laughs> Rusty, you're real quick. We're in town so they can't do anything. All of a sudden they come barreling over the train tracks. They do all shoot them. <laughs> Good job, Rusty. She's quick. It's gone. <laughs> She's a little bit fast. If I remember right, the ladies in your camp didn't like her. Or at least that one older lady didn't. Yeah, I remember her mentioning that. Mm -hmm. Oh, make my own go. That's when I made her, I guess. I don't know how she is. So. Your horse is dirty. You must brush it.
Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and... Come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I... I'm... My family... I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life. Me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family. But it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Let's go, girl. I don't know. I'm only doing it for the kid, not for her. Understandable. So you've joined a cult. I don't know, man. I have a feeling that kid's gonna like. I don't know. Just something bad. Yeah. Usually, when people are in cult to places like that, I don't want there to be bloodshed me out to kill people. I have a feeling it's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Then there's gonna be a riot, and I knew you were good enough for me, blah, 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 you know. Standard. Yeah, we'll see. Got a new get-up on, and then you have to go pay a house visit to a lady. Good thing he shaved. Yeah. Yeah, got all fancy for nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, the characters seem like their brother the mole, so... Hopefully this is worth it. Hopefully. Hopefully it's not brainwashed. That's what I'm worried about. Hmm? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle, something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Um... You gonna give her a lift? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> I twisted my ankle, but I gotta chase after you because you won't stop you for me. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Oh, I know it quite well. Sure. <laughs> Glad I ran into you. Know it better you. than strawberry. Uh, I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. Uh -huh. That fool, always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. 
Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of noise because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide too as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, oh, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey. He says, gee, thanks. <laughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying yeah, folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the... Pretty sure. Yeah. Windows sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. Oh, we're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> what a man. lousy day. He'd be hopping down on that with a twisted ankle. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, Rusty's short. True, that does help. Yeah, the scenery's in this game are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. You can't see it, but there is an option to jump horse. I know, I, I, I saw. No, yeah. They can't oh, see it. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. What is this? What was I doing? And we got startled by you and that, uh, that book. That was way huge, I think. Way too close. This kind of reminds me of, like, the area around Yosemite. Yeah. I've never been there. It's gorgeous. Lots of trees and green. Not like Rocky Mountain kind of looking. They have the half dome. I think I'm pretty close now. Get ready for some shenanigans that might happen. Chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you 
chosen, sir. I don't know about this nonsense. Let me speak to the boy. Dut, dut. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? I have no idea. Um, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Show Leave me you. alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! All right, Rusty, let's get this kid. I can't roll him on the horse, I'll get hurt. Gosh, kid, what are you doing? For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. I was doing just fine by myself. Come on, kid, don't get oh, hurt. Come on, Jamie, your sister's worried about you. You're worshipping turtles. Just stop! Let's talk about this! You pop up out of nowhere? This was fast. You little jacket. Sorry, Mr. Jamie, we gotta do this the hard way. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Your energy's Come on. taking down your horse. No. Okay. Well, that means I have to catch. Oh, we got away. Okay. Well, how am I gonna catch him? Uh, feed the horse. I mean, I, I can't like on it though. R, R. Let's see, carrots. Put that gun down. 
I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I don't... I don't... You gotta shoot his hand. I didn't aim that perfectly. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Ish, kid, you're gonna give me a this heart attack. This wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. Thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. <laughs> apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard, then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. <laughs> what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? Here we are. Must be waiting inside. Father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. <laughs> but I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. change. I know that. The 
Marsh. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but somehow I imagine I shall. Alright guys, that was our number 11 episode of our Red Dead Redemption. Hope you enjoyed it. Man, I kind of feel bad for the guy. Yeah. I just want to help the kid, but I don't really care about the lady, but... Yeah, she's like, oh yeah, I want to get back together, but oh yeah, I don't really, though. Nope, she said Not she really, to get back but together. She's like, oh, you'll never change. It's like, I mean, I don't blame her. I mean, that law, I mean, the life of an outlaw is obviously not for everyone. So it is what it is. I'll find someone else maybe in the game that doesn't mind the outlaw stuff, you know, like that one lady. Oh, I didn't know you were a lady. <laughs> oh, you just want big boobs, McGee. Yeah. I see how it is. It's just the way you said it. Uh, well, we hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as usual, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know where the next episode is. And have a good one. Bye bye. Alright guys, that was episode 11 of our episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. That was episode 11 of our episode. Hmm. Refresh. I hate my head.